hi friends here is a kinter window and this is a combo box and you can see there are various options are there now these options are taken from excel page and from a excel worksheet and this excel worksheet one column data we have taken from our sample student table the name column data we have taken we'll try to learn how we'll use different different ways the to read the excel file and add it as a option to our combo box we'll start from here this is our uh, we are importing ttk so the combo box is part of it and there is a uh, our kinter window we declared it our parent window is my underscore w then the width and the height we have dis uh, displayed here so then the title and we'll write our code this is a, just a blank window in this we'll write our code first let's take the data from our excel file so for that we'll just import this library from OpenPy Excel, import load workbook. So this OpenPy Excel will use to read our Excel file. And we have a series of tutorials on this, how this OpenPy Excel works. You can just refer that. And if you don't, if I not installed it, you can just install by telling pip install OpenPy Excel. So this library, once you use there, now let's have a workbook or WB. Now what we are saying is load workbook so this one will be loaded now where it is located now this also will changes in uh, uh, file name in your case you must you can store it in any location in your drive i'm just picking up from here you can see this is my path data and the student xlsx so this x so this is this sample student file you can download it the link is there at the description you can download the sample table or you can use your own table also read only this option i am setting it to true because we are not going to change any data here now read oh sorry here i have to give a comma here fine so this is now my workbook now inside this workbook i have a worksheet so for the first worksheet is name uh, in this sample table is uh, student so that i am reading so i am saying wb or workbook this is equal to student student here is my worksheet name so that is a workbook now this is the all data is there in the first sheet my default sheet is student that is worksheet name if you are keeping a different worksheet that is different you can assign that worksheet fine so inside that that is there now getting all this now my first job is to collect the data from this worksheet of student column now how i will get it there are different different ways to get it i am just starting with a very uh, let's try one simple way then we'll move towards a little complex one so for that let's first declare one l1 l1 is the list one this is a blank list this is what will be holding the uh, data and that list will assign it to our combo box for that we are saying for data in ws or the worksheet what you have got it at the top iter iterate rows so this is the function we are using which will pick up the data now here we are telling from where it should pick up min rows equal to 2 why minimum rows is start from the second line because first line is the header line so name all those headers will be there here is a sample one student table is there so that we don't want that one we just want we don't want the top one should be name the header should not be there so we are starting from minimum row is two then max column what is the max column is we know our there are five columns are there we are getting all the column data so max column now max rows so this will give us the number of rows of data we are collecting i'm just giving five you can extend it further also now we are saying values only equal to true now this is a for it will loop through and i what i am trying to create is i am trying to create populate my list l1 so what i will do append now what it will happen is i can give the entire data see here the data is the uh, for loop each loop it will take the data i will get a value so here i am saying data and one one because one is the name column see again the this uh, 
data this is here a sample so id is the zero and name is the one so beyond that then the class mark all two three four five like that it goes so one i am picked up so my by this loop i am collecting the list which list contains the all the data of name column but here i am restricting it to max rows five so i will not have more data you can just extend it now let's just print and see up to this point how the data is coming from our excel table or not then that we will use it now let's just see i am just printing it here let's it is uh, no such file okay i i missed here something data student xls e i think it is my for my case it is f i i think f drive i kept a file so let me just uh got some unexpected keyword min min rows so this is um, this should be max column max rows values mean row s is not there so let me just remove this let's try again i am getting the error message here yeah here it is i have got you can see here the four names have come up here the list has come up this l1 or our list will connect to our combo box and display the same as options but then we'll change the list from different sources so for that already kinter we have uh, declared now now let's create one string variable so that will be connected to the, our uh, combo box now we'll say string var fine now let's go come for cb1 or combo box 1 equal to tk dot uh, sorry cb1 uh, is combo box so now it, it is ttk because it's a part of ttk now we are saying combo box now what's my parent window my underscore w now values equal to l1 this is where we are connecting our this uh, our this list to or as option values now let me just comment this there is no point in printing anymore so here it is now l1 we have given here as the now let's just add some width equal to let's give 20 and text variable what you have picked up now how you will collect the option what is selected and all that the select or text variable will take care of that that already we have discussed in many of our tutorials you just follow them now let's place it on our grid cv1 equal to grid sorry cv1 grid row equal to one this is the on only uh, wizard we are using so column equal to one we can give anything pad x equal to let's give slight uh, is from the left side so and uh, we'll give pad y from the top also let's give something 30 that's all so now this uh, combo box we should uh, display with the options taken from our student table so i'm just uh, running this where my combo box Our previous window was not closed so here it is again we are running this and let's see here it is so here the combo box and you can see all those options are coming up here only four because we are restricted here from starting from max rows is five so all only the four options have come up you can you can just increase this value let's just increase this to 15 so I am saving this and running again here it is let's see you can see more options have come you can go on increasing the row range so it will come up now the point here is we'll try now to display this get this l1 from different way by reading uh, the excel file so we'll use pandas data frame we'll slightly change this also we'll see that way how we are getting the data we'll comment these lines so we'll use differently i'm there also and this also Fine. now we'll add one more type so we'll write this uh, two lines will combine and write it in a single loop so for that l1 equal to i'm just saying r uh, for r in ws dot iter i rows i'm trying to combine those uh, for loops two two for loops in one so then max equal to 5 then 
max row equal to again 5 now uh, values only equal to true now this ends here value only is equal to max call equal to 5 then max row then values only is true so this is fine now here because we are to go for only the name column so here we will say 1 so that is what and this entire thing will put it inside a it will create a list out of it so i am just uh, starting it here and the list is here so this is the now the l1 i will get it that only the name list directly i will get it so that l1 i am using it here just see this one line does all the jobs so i am saving this now let's just uh, run and check uh it arrow keyword i'm get values only now here values o n l i missed fine so let's run again here it is so we will get all the options as usual you, you can remove the increase the row number to get more value more options so for pandas we will remove this open pi excel is uh, sorry this this one is not required now we will comment this this also will comment now we will this line also is not required because we are not going to use this library now what we will do we will collect our pandas so we will say import pandas as pd so we got the library pandas library now now data frame we are creating a data frame now pd dot read excel this function will read the excel file read excel now first thing is we have to give the path so path instead of typing it again i will just copy this same file so this path i am copied it here pasting it here so that's all now there are other options i am not using all so the i will use the default one let me write it here data frame it will create the data frame now this data frame i will pick up the name uh, column uh, data only so for that l1 again i am assigning l1 so i need not change it now here i did a mistake here i must comment this line this is no more the source okay here i am coming again l1 this is equal to df or my data frame which column it is the name column now what i am taking is point values then to list now this will give me the l1 the list of uh, it will take the all the data of the name column and return me the list i will just write it here get the list of names column name column that's all this is another way this this much is enough i have just imported panda these three lines i have added other lines i have commented now i am just saving this okay let me run this and see how this is oh, the previous window is, oh yeah it is open now here it is you can see the entire uh, this name column data i am uh, getting populated in the combo box this is the way where even we can take it directly from the database also sqlite mysql or from the csv file also we can take it those tutorials we have already discussed and in that we have not discussed this excel so that is why this we have added this and this was a, there was a question also so we have now everything is compiled and kept in a, in a single page and that link is available in the description you can use that suppose you want csv file or you want to connect to mysql database or you want to take it from sqlite anyway anything any source you can take it and populate the combo box so we'll move to our next tutorial i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching